What's going on and welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we have a couple Devo matches right here. They are a little different. This one right here is mine because blue is obviously my favorite color. And I was also able to grab up a 2.5. This is the 2.0 and this is the 2.5. Um, a little bit of updating, you'll see it. I'll go over it and show you real quick, just a couple little things. Um, but awesome knife. Um, prices were different. I think this was like $100, maybe a little more. I can't remember for sure. This was 149 now. These were sold different websites. Like I think it was Blade Binge was one. I think Urban EDC Supply or Urban Supply EDC or is it Urban EDC Supply? I think it's Urban EDC Supply. They had this version out at one point and they had a couple other versions um, produced too. So they went pretty fast. A lot of people wanted them. They let, the Devo Mash is always pretty much a hit, I think. Um, a lot of people like them. They're just good overall knives. Um, one thing I kind of noticed about flicking both of these I don't know. This was not mine. Like I said, this was from a pass around and it sounds d different. Um, here, listen to it. You tell me if I'm crazy. And did you just see that? I just had a dumb moment. I'm telling you, you heard that, right? Here, I'll do it again. I'll do it again. Yep. See, I swear they hit different. They sound different. I don't know if this one has like skips in it or something like that. Um, I didn't get that detail if they did it just sounds different it doesn't necessarily I say it may feel different kind of I'm not I don't know I don't know I feel like they flip open the same um, and it is okay another thing is I'm going to tell you about different steel like I said they this is the 2.5 so they updated a few things this is 154 cm so it's different blade steel I don't know if that has something to do with it because this is 14 c 28 n as you can see right there there you go there you go um so i don't know i don't know maybe i'm crazy but i really love this one right here i love blue blue is my favorite color but not necessarily on knives i love it on knives but if i had to pick a knife favorite color it'd be like silver and black something like that gray and black something like that i just like those two colors together i think they look good but this blue and black mm, they look good though i'm telling you what um you have that blue blade right there modified sheep's foot um black what's well, a black washed black wash blade with your black accents right there Everything black. Um, it's the same right here. There you go. There you go. There you go. Um, love the jimping on this thing too. I love the love Devo. Just they do good on their jimping. They do a pretty good job. I'm pretty impressed with all their knives with their jimping. Um, I don't think I've had a knife that I didn't like their jimping on so far. So that's a win right there in my books. I'm a, a jimping snob or something like that. I don't know what you want to call it. Um, wire clips. They have a lot of wire clips. Wire clips. Wire clips. They also have. Um, on different websites they also have like different accents stuff like that pivot collars different colors if you want to change stuff up so you know they, they make it pretty you know versatile you can switch it up um you have your black uh black backspacer i always get i don't know why it's words are hard sometimes but that just catches me off guard you have your black backspacers right there both knives um wire pocket clips both sides are, are reversible excuse me reversible um and you have your screws right there Super dope. Love it. Love it. One thing also, if you didn't notice it already, look at the pivot collar. One right here on this one, and there's not one right there. Um, I think, I like, I like how they added the pivot collar. I think it looks better. It's a good little touch, I think. Um, it just makes it look a little snazzier, you know what I mean? Snazzier. Um, let's get some weights real quick. Just to show you guys. Let's turn it on first. There we go. Let's hope oh, don't move. Okay, let's take 3.7, 3.8, Okay, well, <laughs> they both want to delay a little bit, but they are both 3.8, so not too shabby right there. And wait, um, so this modified sheep's foot, the blade length, let's get that real quick. Boom. All right, 3.3? 3.33? Yeah, 3.33. We'll go with that. Sounds good, right? No, wait, that's... No, I'm having a... I'm, oh, man. That's like 3.27. I'm having a bad day, apparently. Um, and its overall length is about 7.6, I'm going to say. That's pretty close. I'm going to go with that. Um, yeah, great knife. I'm telling you what, if you guys haven't checked it out yet, you need to check it out. Um, opens every time they do a lot of thumb holes i'd like thumb holes i like front flippers um 
they do a great job on their thumb holes. I'm not going to lie. They do a great job. Um, they make them a little longer, which is nice. So you can really kind of get your thumb and where you're not your thumb, your finger and where you need to. I like to go a little farther down right there. And this helps me out a little bit, you know, just, just my preference. Um, but I love that blue anodized or blue titanium. Uh, this is the bronze titanium. Um, I'm not a bronze now. Bronze. I like bronze, but I always don't always like bronze. And probably this would not be my first choice, honestly, for this knife. But it doesn't look bad. I do like it on this knife a lot. Is, I think it's what makes it nice is the black accents. It makes it look better. Um, if it wasn't for that, I probably wouldn't like it. It probably it probably wouldn't be up my alley. Is what I'm trying to say. Um, my favorite bronze knife is the, the Wii Subjugator. A uh, phenomenal looking knife. This bronze, mm, it looked good. I'm telling you guys, well, I'm looking good. But this, it looks, it looks good. It don't look good, but it looks good. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think there's out, they're out for sale still. I'm not quite sure. Um, definitely, if you can find one, one, always pick up a Devo Mash. I'm still, when I first, I first got the knives, I found out Devo. I, I found Devo. I was like, oh, cool, new knife company. Obviously, every, every company was just about new when I first got back into knives. And I was like, I don't want to waste my money on a company I don't know anything about yet. Because this was when they were releasing the Devo Mash, the first, uh, the first iteration. This is the third one. This right here is the third one. Or 2.5, excuse me. Um, and I had that reverse tux, and I missed out on it. I almost cried just then, thinking about it. Um, yeah, because it looks so phenomenal. But they have improved on every very, like different version. Um, great knife overall. Like I said, if you can pick one up, pick one up because they go quick. I'm not, honestly, is all the Devo knives. Um, just check them out. Pick them up when you can. Um, again, I think I say it in every video. Check out Lefty EDC, um, his YouTube channel. It's Kev. Um, check out his stuff. He's the one of the he's co-creator of Devo knives. Between him and Colin Mason Pierre is the other guy's name. But I don't think he has a YouTube channel. I'm not sure. But Kev does. Like I said, Lefty EDC. If you want to keep up to date on all the Devo information. Um, he always does videos on his knives, prototypes, this, that, um, just general information. Join his lives at night. I think he has does he does like maybe two every week. I think one or two, like at least one, sometimes two. Um, check him out. Uh, he always has information on stuff and like release dates, and um, yeah, just general information. Like he's just got a great channel to begin with. Definitely go check him out. That's all I really got. It's a phenomenal knife. Check it out if you can. But uh, if you liked the video, leave a thumbs up. If you have a comment or anything like that, just uh, leave it down in the comment section. Thanks.